Here I'm going to demo problem 5 from chapter 6. Again, you can use the time value of money calculator um, on the Pearson MyLab website to work this problem. To access that calculator, go to Chapter Resources, select Interactive Financial Calculators, scroll down to the second to last entry, which is Time Value of Money Calculator. Uh, using numbers that are different from your particular problem, I, the scenario is though that you, if you were to not pay credit card interest of about $1,500 a year, and instead take that credit card or, or the money that you would have paid in interest and invested it and saved it every year for let's say a decade and earned 8% on it, how much would that money be worth? So you're going to put $1,500 aside every single year. Since you're putting it aside every year, that makes it a payment or an annuity. And you're going to do that for, let's say, a decade, so 10 years, and you're going to earn 8%. Um, note that I could put any rate in here. If it's 8.5% on your particular problem or 9.3% on your problem, you can type in um, specific interest rates out to a couple of different you know a couple of decimals but we'll do eight percent and the question is how much will we have saved after those ten years including our deposit so fifteen hundred a year and the interest that we're earning so here I don't have a present value so I'm going to input zero there and I'm solving for future value so I go to the future value button and press it it's going to return a negative number but that's okay. Um, so click check. If I saved fifteen hundred a year for ten years, that would be fifteen thousand dollars. But I'm earning eight percent in interest each year on the amount that I put in, and on the previous balance, so it would grow to twenty-one thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars. 